This week we're going to look at the tune Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. This is quite a simple tune in some ways. Um, in other ways it's quite a complicated tune. Funnily enough, the less you know about music in general, the easier this song is going to be for you. Um, the notes themselves are really simple, there's very few of them. I think there's a total of five notes-ish in the whole piece. Um, the complicated part is where it comes to bars and time signatures. Um, so I don't know whether, uh, when it was being written, this was written by June Carter, John Cash's other half, it was a great tune. Um, but I don't know when it was being written, whether it was just a lack of traditional musical knowledge, so she just wrote the song, or whether she purposefully went, oh, do you know what, let's play around with the bars, this could be quite cool. Uh, it could be either, you know, there might be something out there that lets me know. If there is, and you know the answer to the thing, drop it down in the comments. Um, if not, we can only speculate. So the first thing we need to know about the song is it's in the key of G. We're going to learn it just plucked like this. But uh, if you're feeling like you want to put a little bit of flair, you can always add the double in there. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to break the song down into sections. Uh, we've got the intro, a verse, chorus, and then you've got another two chunks of that intro. So we only need to learn the intro once. Then you've got another chorus, again, same as the last one. Then you have another verse, but this verse is actually different to the first verse, so we'll learn that as a section as well. Then you've got two more choruses, which are the same, and then a little ending, which is ridiculously simple. So we're going to start with the intro. So this is where the timing starts to be weird straight in, it throws you into the deep end. Um, for those of you with any musical knowledge, the song I would probably say, if pushed, is in 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Um, as you'll see as we learn the song, it's dubious, it could be 3-4, it could be 4-4. Four, four. You could call it 2-4 with bars of 1, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, I'm going to say it's in 4-4, four, four, but there's quite a lot of bars of 3 in there. Um, there's also a bar of 2 in there somewhere, so it's um, it's quite an interesting thing. And we're going to start straight in at the deep end. We've got bar of 3, followed by a bar of 4, followed by 3, followed by 4. Now what that means is basically you've got 3 notes in the first bar, and then you've got 4 notes in the second bar. It doesn't change the speed of the notes at all. The notes are all the same speed. It's just the feel of the piece. So when you're in 4-4, four, four, you've got like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you've got this nice steady rhythm, okay? But what Johnny Cash does is got a, like, well, June Carter, as she wrote it, it's a bar of three. So it's one, two, three, one. It's not unusual for pieces to be written with changing time signatures or unusual time signatures. Um, Pink Floyd did some really cool ones. Look at the song Money for a good time signature there. So let me play the intro through and then I will teach it you and break it down. So the whole intro goes. So the first bar's got three notes, and the three notes are open G, open D, followed by C, which is the all the fingers down on that second string. Okay, so it's got G, D, C, and that's followed by a bar of G, D, G, D. So all open, just on those top two strings. It's really simple. Then it copies the first bar again, so you've got the G, D, C again. And then it almost copies the second bar again, so it's almost a repeat of those seven notes at the beginning, but there's one little difference. So you've got a G, D, G, then you go C, D, so it's a little bit quicker. So if you join it on to the verse, just so I can show you the timing, it goes G, D, G, C, D, G, like that. So it's one, two, one. Okay, it's fitting two notes into the space where one note should be equally divided. Okay, so that is your intro. Now let's look at the first verse. So after the intro, you're followed by verse one. So again, you've got unusual time signatures. So this time you've got a bar of four, followed by a bar of three, followed by a bar of four. And that pattern continues three times over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn that pattern of 11 notes, <laughs> and then we're gonna just repeat that three times, and then we'll finish off the verse. So all the notes in this bit are exactly the same notes as in the intro, so I'm not gonna break down where to put your fingers and things, you can do this, uh, it's exactly the same. But the pattern goes G, D, G, 
G, C. That's your first bar, four notes. Then it goes G, D, C, three notes. And then G, D, G, D, four notes. So we put that together just for the timing. Okay, and then you repeat that three times over. So if I play that whole bit together, it goes something like this. Don't forget when you're playing, make sure you're muting before you change strings. You don't want to leave it ringing because you'll get a blur in your sound. So the last bit of the verse is a bar of three and a bar of four and it goes G, D, C, G, D, G, C. Simple as that and that's verse one. So let's look at the chorus. So this is why I would say that the song is in 4-4, four, four, because when you get to the chorus, which is the main part of the song, you've got four bars straight out in 4-4. Four, four. So it's an easy four bars of four notes. The second half of the chorus gets a little bit more complicated again, but that first half is quite simple. So here we've changed chords for the chorus. We've been playing chord one most of the time throughout the song, with a little bit of chord four thrown in there. Um, this starts on chord five here of the, uh, of the scale. So if you're in G, chord five is D. So we're going to follow this little pattern here. So we've got D, A, which is the open string A, D, D, C, C, G, C, C sharp here. So they're two quick ones again, okay? So if I do this at speed, it goes. Okay. The next two bars are almost identical, except we don't use a C sharp. Instead, we go to a D, so it goes C, D at the end. So I'll just play that section. Okay, so C, D at the end. And to put that all together, you've got... Okay, so then in the second half of the chorus, you've got a bar of four followed by a bar of two then two more bars of four. So again, the chorus is really mostly in four beats to the bar, just except that one little bit here. So that first bar of four is simply G, D, G, D. And you've got a bar of two, which is G, C. And then you've got two bars of four, which is G, D, G, D, G, D, G, C, D. So let's put that whole chorus together. So the next section is the chorus just flows straight into two rounds of that intro pattern. The only difference is the very second time at the very very end when you do the intro pattern, instead of doing the quick C D at the end, you're going the C C sharp. And the reason for that is instead of it going up to a G afterwards, it's leading into a D, getting ready for another chorus. So this bit goes. Da, 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 da. chorus. So at this point we've got another just straight chorus just the same as we've learned in the other ones. At the end of this chorus we're going to verse 2. So verse 2 is a little bit different so let's take a look at it. So verse 2 starts in the same way as verse 1. So you have your same pattern. And we do that twice over. This is where it starts to get a bit different. So after those two, 
we then have a really weird timing bit. So we've got a bar of three, followed by a bar of two, followed by a bar of three, followed by a bar of four. So it's really unusual. So the notes for this bit are the bar of three is G, D, C. In fact, almost every bar of three is G, D, C. So it's G, D, C, and then you've got a bar of two, where it goes G, D, and then it follows the bar of three pattern again. Okay, and then it's back to the bar of four, which is G, D, G, D. And then the end of this verse just ends up with two bars of four. We've got G, D, G, D, and then a G, D, G, C, C sharp. So again, the quick one. So if we play this whole verse together, it goes, again. So to end the song you literally have two choruses just as they were in the first time we learnt it. So you're going to repeat those two and then when you get to the end of that last chorus the ending is as simple as just repeating G and D all the way through until it fades out or if you were the band until you guys work out how you're going to end it usually probably on a G. And there you have it, The Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash. It's a nice, simple song. It's an easy one to get your head around, um, a good fun one to play with. So if you're one of my patrons, the lesson materials will be on my website. Um, so there are charts to follow through. So if you're not a patron, um, head over to patreon.com slash thebasspixie. You can sign up for as little as £3 a month and that gives you access to all the lesson materials. Um, if you go up in the tiers, the benefits get more and more, things like behind the scenes access, um, CDs for Bamboozle Band and lots of other things you can see over there. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my current patrons. We've got some amazing people out there that are subscribing month after month. I love you to pieces, you guys. Um, we also have a little community with our patrons uh, where we all chat, um, everybody helps each other out. Um, I'm on there to offer advice and help also talk about future videos um, and things like that. If you've got any questions, drop them below in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give me a big thumbs up um, and definitely subscribe. There will be more content coming. Uh, we're going to have a string review for these wonderful innovation Rockabilly Blacks coming out soon. Uh, I'm pretty much in love with them so far, so uh, looking forward to giving them a proper good review. I hope you're all enjoying your bass playing and keep rocking! <laughs>